Ah, live streaming. This is one thing that everybody is getting into. And if you go to YouTube and you say, how can I get watch hours on my channel? The first thing everybody's going to say is do a live stream. Now, so many reasons as to why live streaming is hard for some of us in particular sides of the country. So in today's video, we are looking at how you can get a pre-recorded video that you've recorded and then stream it live so that people can see it as a live video. What's up, welcome to Tech Select. My name is Linus and I'm excited for today's video because we get to pick a recorded file and then live stream it to our channel and people get to see it as a live video. Now, let's kick off with why I personally find this as something not good to do. One, your audience is going to feel like they are cheated. Come on, they are watching you live but you're actually not live. Imagine you landed on one of them in a taxi and you, it shows your life but come on you you know wherever it is you are it just feels like you're cheating them but again here are some reasons as to why if you're best especially in uganda this is a good idea one our internet is not so good now if you've tried live streaming before you'll notice if you have a bad connection you end up with very grainy footage choppy footage stuff like this. you get all like has a lot of grain like rice all over the place so one moment your head is here the next you get it you get very very bad footage so our internet is not really that good and even when you get it a bit good it's a bit expensive so if you're looking at live streaming you know a video and you're thinking about burning about three to four five gb that becomes really really hard and then two our power is not stable in filming this video this is take number three because the power kept cutting off so imagine if i were live streaming would be talking like this and the next thing boom blackout and then i would just look like a fool on the internet you get it? so number three in this case as to why i would tell you to you know live stream a recorded file finally is hardware now few people get access to good hardware live streaming actually does need some great hardware especially if you want to start pushing your live streams to higher resolutions 1080p 4k and stuff like that you need to have really good hardware so that it can encode that video and then be able to push it online and hardware is quite expensive in uganda especially africa uganda here it's quite expensive to land your hands on those very high high end and good spec machines now with all these reasons listed here are the tools you can use to live stream a pre-recorded file let's start with option one which is obs Right, so method number one would be using OBS, you know, to restream uh, your recorded file. So step one, what to do, you just come to the scene where you are on your OBS, you have opened your OBS over there. We're going to come to sources, you're going to go and add a source. In this case, we're going to add a media source. And then media source, we're just going to give it a name. In this case, we're going to call it recorded uh, video just like that. And then now we're going to click this. This is already, this local file is, is already checked so we're just going to go and browse and try to locate the particular file that we want to stream uh in this case here i have uh, one of my previous videos let's say if this is what i wanted to stream um all right if we wanted to stream this particular video there we go it has been selected over there now there are two options you can click loop loop option what will happen is once the video is done playing um it will come back and start afresh once it is done so i'll just leave that um blank um there we go i just leave everything here at normal now there we go so this here is the video and that is what exactly it would look like ready to um stream uh right there now so to select that you'd go into your settings and then uh, in settings over here you know you'd want to choose your stream and then choose the platform on to which you're going to stream in this case maybe you're going to stream to youtube and then from here you put in the settings all you have to do maybe is click uh, connect account here once you click on it to open fair tab in your chrome which will allow you connect your youtube account direct to obs or you can use a stream key now once the back end is uh, sorted all you have to do is click start streaming over here and once you click start streaming on the other side you know youtube the person viewing your youtube will see your video as a live video always remember that as you are you know uh 
doing this that this video here is playing uh, whatever it is you'll be seeing here is what will be seen on the live side of things that is option one so there it is obs solves everything <laughs> <laughs> it's an open source software and it's just amazing what that program can do and indeed obvious let's get the check mark of approval just like our sponsor oduka.com www.oduka.com your number one online store for all your electronics and accessories right here in uganda they do offer same day delivery if you're in kampala wakiso mukono and tebe areas Place your order in the morning, you get it the same day. Place it in the evening, you get it the following day. You can pay cash on delivery if you're very, you know, you're scared of online uh, transactions. Pay cash on delivery. So place your order right now. Use promo code TECH SELECT so that you get massive discounts on your next shopping experience. Oduka.com just gives you a totally new experience with online shopping, especially here in Uganda. Now, Option number two for how to stream a pre-recorded file. Now here, we're going to be using an app that I talked about in a previous video. This is using Restream.io. Now Restream.io, everything happens on your browser, no need for crazy tech, no need for software, no need, everything just happens within your browser. Let's get into it and see how you can do this in particular. Option two in this particular case is we shall be using a website called Restream.io. Now, with Restream.io, Restream is an, one of those uh, good online uh, platforms where they give you everything you'd want in one go in this particular case. So to stream a recorded file using a Restream right here, all you have to do is log into your account. Of course, you've got to create a free account. The accounts are free, but of course, you can always upgrade and get to the pricing. Now, if we just look through the price sheet over here, basic, which is what we're using, it's $0. We can always connect OBS and other streaming platforms through it, you know we have uh, video limits of course we have no storage online and of course now all these here are not checked but um, let's just uh, go over here now in our account you would go stream a video file in this case um, make your video go live as you can see now basically this here gives us the option of being as if we are live now the cap on here is for free you know it is free for videos up to 500 mb and 20 minutes long so this here is what you need to note as you are planning on streaming a pre-recorded video on restream.io on the free account it must be five less than 500 mb and less than 20 minutes long if you need more than that you hit upgrade so in this case you just click upload video and then uh, let us say in this case uh, in this particular case let's see if we can uh, pick up a video for ourselves here um yes all right so we picked up a video and then we're going to hit upload now that here is uploading as we wait now you see here the video is uploading over there and then now here you get to give it a title um we're going to call it a test stream in this case you give it a description and then you set when exactly you want it to go alive so in this particular case this year today is you know we're in september and that is it and that is the time over there so if i can i can as well adjust this to go live anytime and also make announcement uh for the post in particular then you also get to upload an image or a thumbnail yes for it such a video looks all good but in this case we're not going to do that now we're just going to hit next now once you hit next it's going to ask you where do you want to stream this particular video too now at the moment i can add as many channels as i want as of right now i can go to facebook youtube twitch and even add more as you can see i can go twitter linkedin um telegram dlive daily motion now i can select all of these and have my file go live across all of these at the same time so we had gone to next and now on here this is where you know you'd click it you know click for it to go so if you go youtube you're going to create connect it over there and then you create an event um yes so would click continue to create the event and then the event would be created now 
once your event is created of course now you have um you have put up all the things all the details and what are now already here you can see it is telling you that this event that we scheduled to go at 5 47 is about to go live so it even has a countdown so all your events would come down here and you can always edit them and decide what goes where and at what time as of now so that is how you you would stream you know to your social media now this here is going to have a watermark but of course uh, we're not going to be worried so much about that watermark in this particular case because it is a free account now remember it's got to be 500 mb and below and it should max out at 20 minutes so this here is a quick way for you to uh, you know stream using restream.io now this here exactly is what would be having so it's loading over here or now this here is what you know the people on the other side would be seeing when it does finally you know get streaming yeah, so it would say that our video is fully fully live and so anybody who would be watching it you know would get the exact feeling you know feeling that they are watching you live at actual since it is a pre-recorded uh, session added advantages it will give you all these statistics how many people watched average my you know watched me speak time and all these other things for those that love getting into the analytics and the nitty gritties over there so restream with I use actually a very very powerful tool for you know to to, to check out how to you know stream your pre-recorded uh, file so there you have it there's so many other options of how you can do this but for now these are the first two that I have laid down for you that you can use especially based on the fact that all these don't involve they are a little free at the moment now with restream you can always decide to upgrade and add all these other things graphics and what and all that but for now you can as well use the free option and still have amazing results for you right there now many more shall be coming on so just make sure you are subscribed and notification bell so that you are alerted when new video does drop on this channel here it's just amazing i am so excited about all this well it's been an awesome pleasure serving up these uh, different uh, platforms that you can use. If you like this kind of content, tech content, DIY tips and tricks and a lot more, subscribe to this channel and all of that so that you don't miss out on the fun as it does drop in. But for now, my name is Linus and I shall definitely see you in the next video.